In the later versions of Excel, we've got some really new, funky conditional formats. In prior versions, like Excel 2003, conditional formatting was available, but you were limited to three formats. Now we've got loads. I've got a spreadsheet here, and I've got a profit column. What I would like to happen is I would like Excel to highlight for me every cell in this list where my profit is over £10. Straightforward and simple with Excel 2007 and 2010. On the Home ribbon, you can see we have the Styles tab and we're going to change the style of some of our formats. And as you can see, when I hover, it drops down a little box which explains what conditional formatting can do. So I've highlighted the cells that I want to apply my conditional formatting to. Click into there and I'm going to start off with the top option, Highlight Cells Rules. As you'll see, there are various other categories that you can go for. I'm going to choose cells where the profit is greater than £10. Now you see it picks up a value. It's picked up the smallest value in the list or a value that it's found somewhere. And I'm going to change that to, say, £10. You can see it working already in the background. I can also choose which kind of formatting I want. Now, I fancy green today. I could go and do a custom format, but I'll stick with the green one. And as you can see, immediately I get a green background with green text on all the cells that meet my criteria of being over £10. Click OK. And how pretty and how easy was that? So immediately when I look at my spreadsheet, I can see that those cells are all above £10. Now there are some text filters as well. I might want to know which were the good months. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go to Highlight Cells Rules and Text That Contains. And I'm going to add in here Good. And this time I'm going to go for the red. So as you can see... I can highlight anything which is good and the good months are not necessarily corresponding to £10 profit they're just corresponding to having a decent profit. So now I'm going to um, remove those values to try something else. So highlight the cells they are applied to, go to conditional formatting, come down to clear rules and clear rules from selected cells. I could have cleared rules from the entire sheet and that would remove the good ones as well. Now I just want to show you a couple of the other cell format, conditional formats that we can add. So I'm going to select my profit column, go up to conditional formatting and choose data bars. And I'm in the mood for pink ones today, so I'll click on the, it's called purple, sorry. I'm going to click on the purple data bars and as you can see, it's filled in each of the cells according to how big the number is. So I'll remove that one. And we'll try a different one. Let's have a look at the colour scales. I'm going to choose this particular colour scale. As you can see, again, it's filled in the cells with different colours according to the rule and the way that's been set up. So if I show you how that is, we go into Manage Rules. We go into Edit the Rule. And here you can see this is how it's been set up. So the colour and uh, the, the lowest... The, the minimum, the midpoint and the maximum and the lowest value to the highest value and you can change that yourself. So I'm going to come out of that, I'm going to remove those and the last one I'm going to show you are the icon sets which are brand new here and we're going to just choose these ones with the ticks and uh, crosses, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that. So here we have our range of cells and the bigger numbers have a green tick, the middling ones have a yellow or amber exclamation mark and the bad ones have a red cross. So there you have conditional formatting in Excel 2007 and Excel 2010.